hello and welcome to my youtube channel let's practice c plus plus hope you guys are doing great so in today's video we are going to cover the concept uh, of c plus plus and we are going to create an other program that will take the input from the user and it will um, it will uh, conclude that the input integer that is entered by the user is a positive one or a negative one so we will for this purpose we will use the conditional structure and let's see how the things are work so let's get started and before starting the video i request you guys to please subscribe the youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from the youtube channel let's practice c plus plus so open the compiler that you have installed on your system i have installed a dev c plus plus and now you just need to create a source file and the source file you need to create the header files and in my case the header files are hash include iostream hash include conio.h hash include or you can use using namespace you can also add the string library because string is not a kind of uh, variable it's a library so you can also use the hash include string dot h if you want string to be added in your program so i don't want the string to be added in my program so will i will not add the string to my program so i will use the using namespace std standardized and after that the integer of the main and in integer of the main i will use this thing and now i will terminate the program with the last function that is referred as get ch and in the integer main and i am just going to create my variable and i will name the variable as number and the data type of the variable will be integer so variable name can be a desired one in my case i am going to keep the variable name as the number so end number and i will uh, initialize the variable with a zero because i don't want any kind of garbage value in my variable in the next step i am going to print a statement cr please enter a number so the criteria of the uh, criteria of my program is that i will take a number from the user and i will judge that the number that's been entered by the user is positive or negative one so please enter a number so now the user will name, uh, enter a number please enter a number so when the number will be entered by the user I will take the number inside C in and now I will take if the number entered by the user is less than zero. If the number entered by the user is less than zero, we will derive that the number is C out the number is or you can also right, you have entered a negative number if the number entered by the user is less than zero we can say that you have entered a negative number but if the number entered by the user if it's not less than zero if it is greater than zero because it is the case that if the number is not less than zero it should be and it must be greater than the zero and in that case we must uh, console output the statement that you have entered a positive number so for the second case we can use else because if the number is not less than zero uh, it will execute this code block and in the else one it will execute console output you have entered entered a positive number positive number okay so this is the code block and it will be executed by the user so now we are going to compile the stuff i just press the f11 you can see it's been safe and please enter a number 77 you have entered a positive number minus 9 you have entered a negative number so this is the simplest criteria and uh, it seems that the 
that our program is efficient and it doesn't take any kind uh, any too much time the things are working very efficiently so that's all from today's video and if you like the video then do subscribe the youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my youtube channel thank you